Namaskar. Well, if I'm an optimist, then vaccine is coming. If I'm a pessimist, vaccine is coming. But what is an update on the people who have already got infected with COVID-19? There's no one working for the cure. We're just leaving them to their immunity level or to Almighty. Well, again, if I'm optimist, vaccine has already reached the clinical development stage. Well, if I'm a pessimist, vaccine has reached the clinical development stage, but when the mortality rate is more in elderly, people who are dying are more in the elderly, but the testing in the clinical development stage is going on on the young adults, healthy people. Well, again, if I'm optimist, then the vaccine will be ready by September. If I'm a pessimist, vaccine will be ready by September, but creating large volumes of vaccine, almost. India has got 137 crore population. Reaching out to all of them will take a large amount of time. But yes, I would like to carry the rest of my episode with the optimistic tone. Yes, I'm extremely optimistic about the things happening because if we consider the pace we are moving, if you see the first time the virus, when, when in, in these type of cases, if you talk about either the earlier SARS, or Zika, Zika virus or H5N1 influenza, whatever we consider, the clinical development stage, to, take the, to reach the clinical development stage, it took a good amount of time. If we look from the graph over here, which is the first one is SARS virus in the year 2003, the, which is a severe acute respiratory syndrome, even the coronavirus is slightly with, linked up with that. If you see that in the year 2003, Three, the vaccine in the clinical development stage, which means the vaccine as far as part of the trails touching the human body for the first time, it took 18 months, literally 18 months. And the next, if you see the H5N1 influenza in the year 2006, it has taken 11 months. Next, if you see H1N1 influenza in the year 2009, it took four months. If you see the Zika virus in the year 2016, it has taken 3.25 months. And if you see the coronavirus, it has taken just two months to reach the clinical development stage, which is a highly appreciated. And if I see this as an optimistic angle, we are closer. Now, for that, if I put across everything with the help of the facts figures, I would like to elucidate you very clearly, please. Hence, first, you have to know how the vaccine exactly works. Kindly look into this. When a pathogen or virus or bacteria is introduced into your body, it multiplies and attacks cells. This is known as infection. Recognizing these microbes as foreign bodies, the immune system deploys two different strategies using various types of white blood cells. First of all is innate immune response. You see the blue one here? That's called as macrophage. Macrophage is a cell responsible for detecting and destroying pathogens. This attack from macrophage will reduce the pace of infection. That's not always sufficient. And here comes lymphocytes. Each lymphocyte is adopted to attack particular virus or bacteria. And lymphocytes multiplies accordingly. The moment they see the particular attack, they multiply and then attack accordingly. T lymphocytes have a capacity to produce a vast number of antibodies. And these antibodies attack antigens and neutralize them and then the macrophage comes and eliminates it. T lymphocytes also does one more job of identifying and destroying infected cells. The problem is still there because of the first contact with antigen, immune reaction is slightly slow and takes several days to unleash an illness. Fortunately, our body remembers its enemies. Antibodies and lymphocytes are left with the memory and reacts when pathogens appear and vaccines job is to increase that immune system memory once the vaccine is given it increases the immune system memory of antibodies as well as the lymphocytes and they they keep on waiting for the enemies and they attack accordingly as i explained with the help of the t lymphocytes and with the help of the macrophages Well, if I explain now the different stages of a development cycle of any vaccine, usually you'll be having an exploratory stage, preclinical stage, clinical development, regulatory review and approval, which is the, I think, but the license stage, 
next manufacturing and then you'll have a quality control but from the clinical development stage how exactly it works because that stage is very important plus how exactly it works i'm presenting a small video kindly look into it seen trails usually happen over four phases phase one a small group of adult volunteers are injected with the vaccine to determine its safety and whether it exhibits the desired immune responses subjects will be monitored for several months to a year for side effects this is the phase the coronavirus vaccines are currently at. Phase 2. A larger group of usually several hundred adults participates in the testing. Some of the people may belong to the groups at risk of contracting the virus. Researchers and scientists will measure immune system responses, vaccination, safety and proposed doses, and validate methods of delivery. This phase usually takes several months and even up to two years. Phase 3. In this phase, the vaccine is trailed on tens of thousands of people to test for side effects that may not have occurred in smaller sample sizes. Vaccine efficacy is tested as well, which looks at whether they prevent infection and stimulate appropriate immune responses. This can take years, and only after this can a vaccine developer apply for a license. Phase 4 The final phase is conducted by vaccine developers after the product is released. They have a responsibility to continually monitor vaccine efficacy and put it from the market if it's no longer effective or create updated versions to account for mutations. Now that you understood what exactly happens in all these stages, if any one stage has been bypassed, if you try to push faster in any one particular stage, then we'll end up with a very serious side effects plus. Even the history, if you're aware of 1955 clutter incident, it's called as clutter incident. It's a clutter laboratory. What has happened is as far as the polio vaccine, salt polio vaccine is concerned, they, they produced a good amount of bottles with inactivated vaccine. Inactivated vaccine. So what has happened? A fresh cases of polio have come, almost 40,000 plus cases of polio, fresh cases of polio, and almost 50 plus permanent paralysis and five deaths. So you'll have a lot. Even you'll have the side effects pertaining to anaphylaxis, a gullion barre syndrome. I wanted you to pause this and see anaphylaxis and gullion barre syndrome. These side effects are going to be very high. If anyone bypasses these stages, what are all the stages I elucidate? Well, if you see the players who already entered into the clinical development stage, the top players, Beijing-based unit of Sinovac Biotech, Cancino Biologicals, Wuhan Institute of Biological Products, Wuhan Institute of Biological Products, Senefac, Modrena, Johnson & Johnson, the Indian-based firms, Zydus Cadilla, Serum Institute, Biological E, Bharat Biologicals, Indian Immunologicals, Minwax, all these players, if you observe, all of them Right? They're working aggressively and no doubt, including the National Institutes of Health, the top player, no doubt by September this year, by September 2020, 100% the vaccine will be out. The final version, all approved, everything, the final version would be out. After undergoing all the phases of that, whatever I explained in that video. But to reach out the masses is very important to reach out all the sections of people, total population is important. For this, you should know the realistic numbers. If I talk about the top players, right, they, like, you know, Cancino Biologicals or anything if you take up, right, Johnson & Johnson, all of them, they can produce an, an average of 30 crore bottles of vaccine per year, point to be noted, 30 crore bottles of vaccine per year. Now, if assume for some time the National Institutes of Health got the first version of it, finally approved by everything, right? Now the United States of America will first focus into their population and then they'll think of producing it to the other countries. Well, even if they outsource the formula and everything to all the Indian companies, whatever I mentioned. So in that what happens? Even the Indian companies, let's say all the six names, whatever I said, by the time if some a few more things also adds up, they have got an average of 10 crore vaccine, 10 crore bottles of vaccine per year, average. So now they have to increase that size, which again takes some time. Or even if they don't increase and they keep it as it is, to reach out the Indian population, it definitely takes one year slightly more than one year from september 
2020 it takes extra one year for this vaccine to reach out all the volumes because it has to touch all the sections of people i repeat by september 2020 this year we'll have the vaccine ready by september 2021 we'll have all the people would have got the vaccine all of them all the indians would have been vaccinated pertaining to the coronavirus by september 2021 last but by no means least the vulnerable section mortality rate is mostly in elderly and the people with the low immunity system the elderly people not everyone but a few sections of people right i can say 70 percentage of them will have a different level of attitude they say you please request them, beg them, explain them that the situation, the seriousness of this. They are not authorized to walk that freely till September 2021. Beg them, request them, but do not allow them to go out, walk and freely outside till September 2021. Rest is over to the wisdom. Nandri Vanakam.